Hi, I'm Dave, welcome back to the channel. This week, I've had an idea. So let's start with an introduction. This is a Carrera digital car on a Carrera digital track. And that's fine. Now, Dave Kennedy has shown a video of this many times, but people don't seem to believe it. If you take a digital car, Carrera digital car, and you switch the switch across so the switch points towards the sensor, and then you put it on an analog track and bump the throttle one two three there you are it's now an analog car in analog mode if you switch it back the other way so the switch is away from the sensor put it back on the Carrera digital track and it is once again a digital car now that's great if you've got Carrera digital cars and you want to take them around your mates track and your mates got an analog track but what if you're like me and you use the FT slot Technic chip to chip analog cars across to digital, you end up with a situation where you've actually reduced the usability of the car because it was analog and now it won't work on an analog track. I use them a lot because they're small mainly. So here's one fitted into an SRC Capri. Here's a Revo slot Alfa Romeo with a chip in it. And here finally is a Racer Sideways Group 5 BMW with a chip in it. Now we're going to use the BMW in the example. Now we're going to fit a DP DT switch to it that's dual pole dual throw. And it's basically a little switch with one position switch on one side and six pins on the other but it's it's two sets of three so when it's switched one way this pin and this pin are joined together and this pin and this pin are joined together when you switch it the other way this pin and this pin are joined together and this pin and this pin are joined together so it's two switches in one switch So here's the Racer Sideways BMW with all the wiring taken out of it. And here's the switch with its six pins. So we'll go through these one at a time. From the live side of the pickup and the negative side of the pickup to the top two pins. And then you join the motor to the middle pins on the switch. Again, plus to plus, minus to minus. And now we come to the chip, and the chip's got four wires on it. At the grey wire from the chip, we're going to put to the bottom pole on the negative side, and the purpley lilac wire to the bottom pole on the positive side. Now, because Carrera Digital works opposite polarity to everything else, you then need to put the red and black wires on the opposite red and black wires on the first pole. And here's a real world example of it. You can see I've put a heat shrink around the switch terminals and you can see helpfully all slot car manufacturers seem to use red and red instead of red and black. So anyway, proof of the pudding. Here is the car with the switch in it. Put it on the digital track because it's already in digital mode and I've encoded it. There we are. It works on the digital track. Pick the car up. Switch it over. It's that way at the moment, so we'll switch it that way. Put it on the analog track. Analog car. Switch it back the other way, so it's in digital. Digital car. Now, I hope you enjoyed that. That is a proof of concept. You could use a smaller switch if you wanted to. Um, for more of these videos, please like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment if you have one. 